All right, guys, I'm into this Buddy Flex heater. This is the Flex. It's a little bit different. It's really great. I actually like it more than the Big Buddy because it radiates out the sides. It keeps shutting off. So I took the screws off the cowl here. Then I took the screws off the bottom. You can see you can even keep all the screws in. And then you can take the bottom off. And I think this is it right here. I think this is the oxygen sensor. I couldn't find a picture of one online or any other video. So I'm going to take this part number and I'm going to look it up on the Buddy website and see if anything comes from it. But hopefully it's nothing to do with this. I don't think it is because that could also be a funny looking tip switch. These have all these safety features now, which is are a little bit too ridiculous. And let me tell you, this didn't work right out of the box. And what I had to do was I had to take alcohol and literally just clean the tips. And then it started working. I saw that in another video. But I don't know. I'm feeling like this might be the culprit right here. It's a little heavy. Yeah. You can feel like there's a little bulb in there or something. So pretty weird, whatever this thing is. I haven't seen that before. That could be a tip switch too, actually. But, uh, yeah, you can even hear the clicking inside. So I am looking for the oxygen sensor because that is my feeling of what it is. But I'm going to bypass this one too anyway. So I'll keep you updated. I can't find anything even on DigiKey with this MS416TA. But look how sensitive it is. Seems like that might be a tip switch sensor. So I don't know. Maybe we'll just try with that one first. I'll put it back together without this one. I just connected them together and with some heat shrink. And... All right. If you were to take this apart, you probably wouldn't have to take apart this inner ring, this coil here, to get to that sensor. You could probably just do these top pieces and just be able to get in there with it save you the extra headache and there's no screws under the feet so there's no sense in pulling those up all right so quick recap wouldn't work right out of the box had to take off this front grate right here and then the inside grate with those screws in there and clean that with alcohol swab the thermal couple and the igniter there and it worked that was all it needed for the pilot not to be working and she lit right up hopefully this is the culprit seems like a really sensitive type of tip switch i couldn't see or figure out which would be an oxygen sensor in there so i don't know what this is but uh yeah great little heater i love it hopefully it stays lit if you don't hear from me again it's stayed lit and it's fixed the problem so that would be the first on youtube that i've seen and i've looked around quite a bit uh hit, a, hit the thumbs up leave me a comment a like tell me about your buddy heaters thank you all right guys i thought i had definitely fixed it but uh no it went out on me again so I'm going to go back to cleaning this with just an alcohol swab and I'm just going to let it open and be very careful for a while and see how it burns that way. Um, but yeah, that wasn't the fix. Going for a while again and this time I used like a long nose lighter and I have a feeling that if there's kind of any residue on this thermal couple or it's some kind of heat sensor. It might need to be burned off because look how small that pilot is. And, you know, I just get the feeling that this has to be clean. And it, Oh, see that pilot? It just went out. What's up with that? So let's see if it clicks off. I hear the clicking when it goes off. Yeah, see, there it goes. Boom. Right at the back there. So that's kind of weird. So I'm going to leave the pilot off. And it's good because it did shut the gas off. 
or else I would be able to hear it, which wouldn't be good. So yeah, that was kind of weird. So I took a break on it, but on the manual here, it says there is a replace ODS oxygen depletion sen sensor, but no way to see what that looks like. And then interesting up here, it says that there is some kind of Ruby that controls the gas flow through the pilot orifice. I don't know what kind of Ruby they're talking about, but then here it seems in the maintenance section, there is some stuff to tell you how to clean the pilot. Um, improper pilot lighting here. Make sure the control knob so we'll have to see the maintenance. Okay, that's a diagram of the electrode and the thermocouple. And here it says, the pilot flame should be blue in color, not yellow, and will extend to the thermocouple. The flame will surround the thermocouple just below the tip. Okay, so my pilot flame doesn't look like that one in the image it's just like a small blue bubble 